Hello, Dad. Hi, daughter. Are you in the job interview? Listen, I don't want to do the job interview. No, you listen. It's been a month that you've been unemployed. It's time for you to get a job. But, Dad, my chances of getting hired are decreased if I'm wearing this outfit. No, that's not a reason. The outfit will help you get a job. Remember this. If you don't get a job, you will be not married and not successful in life. If you're exaggerating, it's fine. I'll do the job with you. My name is Michaela Kim and this is my lifestyle. My lifestyle consists of playing games, reading, watching television, just basically doing what I want whenever I want. Other people like me, you know, graduated students, they already have jobs, internships. For me, I don't have that kind of problem. I just do whatever I want. And that's the most important thing in life, you know? I'm glad you're punctual. Please take a seat. First off, I'd like to ask you if you can tell me about yourself. Any hobbies? Well, my friend once told me that exercise is good for the body and everyone should exercise. So that inspired me to exercise as a hobby. I see. How about in your relationship? Do you have a partner? Well, not anymore. My previous partner made me realize how terrible men were. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. How did you hear about this position? My father actually recommended this company and luckily enough, luckily enough there was a job opening. Well, what makes you suitable or worthy of this position? Well, I'd like to think I'm worthy of this position because I'm very hardworking, enthusiastic, and very passionate about this job. And I guarantee that you won't regret hiring me. And... And? I really need this job. I need this job to support my family and myself. Without this job, I wouldn't know what I'll do. Well, thank you for sharing that. I'll see what I can do. The interview is over and we'll be keep on touching. job interview because I was forced to and I really I think I really didn't do so well. How come? At first 
I basically told the interviewer that everybody should exercise because exercise is good for everybody. And then I told her about my ex and how my ex made me dislike men less. And in the end, I basically guilt tripped her into giving me the job. That's why you weren't hired. Because you used illogical fallacies. Fallacies? That sounds familiar. Fallacies are when there is an error in your reasoning. Okay. Um... For example, if God can make or do everything, then He can make a stone so heavy that He cannot lift it. That does sound illogical. It makes you think, right? That's called contradictory premises, where two premises contradict each other. I see. And the next fallacy is false analogy. It's where two, two things are common. Common in relationship. Common in relationship. Ah, uh, like example how we, how pe uh, in the advertisement, like people say that if you wear axe cologne, women will be attracted to you. Yeah, that's it. And the next, the next fallacy that I can, I could think of is poisoning the well. It is where there is a negative information that is not related to the argument. Argument. It's like when you are appealing to the emotion of the person you are talking to. Like you're discrediting the argument or the person itself. Yes. Oh, no wonder why I wasn't hired. A normal person wouldn't hire an illogical person. It's okay. You'll get your goal someday and you'll be more logical than you are now. Hey Maria, you need to go. Good evening. Good evening. How's your work? Oh, you know, it's fine. Uh, it's a little hard for me since, you know, I'm not really used to it. And I don't know. But hey, at least I have a job. Mm -hmm.